to the Cami C show today back at you with another uh, mental health discussion you know I like to do these from time to time on the channel as uh, as I mentioned I feel like ASMR and mental health has a strong link a lot of people watch ASMR you know to relax you know you might not be able to sleep at night uh, you know, feeling anxious, stuff like that, so I think it links quite well. I'm going to try and make this a longer video where I'm talking about it, so get yourself a beverage, it's absolutely boiling in England right now. You need plenty of water. Quick side note in this video, this space is just going to be 20 minutes of me waffling, so switch off now if you don't fancy it, it might not be your cup of tea. But a uh, quick side note, went to Weatherspoons the other day, absolutely hammered off three or four, I think it's the heat. I was bloody nearly dancing on the table, I'll tell you that for free, anyway. So, anxiety. I had a football match Wednesday, and I think it was a perfect representation of anxiety. So, I play six aside football every week. Um, yeah, we're just an average six a side team, and we formed an 11 a side team not so long ago to play in this tournament. We did crap in the tournament, we got battered every week, but we had this little little cheeky friendly arranged against a, a new team. They're going into a league, they're a proper team, we're not a proper team, we're literally just having this friendly with them, 11 a side. And I created this narrative going into it, you know, well, they're forming a team, we're going to get absolutely battered again, and I'm going to play absolutely crap. And in the first 15 minutes of the game, I felt myself like, oh, God, I love playing football, you know, six a side and that, but whenever there feels a little bit, there feels like there's a bit of pressure, you know, just 11 a side friendly. You know, in 11 a side, I, I've always felt that bit of pressure, no matter, just thought about 11 a side football. You know, you want to you wanna do well. In the first 15 minutes, I barely touched the ball. But we were, we were winning. I think we went 1-0 we went up in the first 15. I barely touched the ball. So it's roll, roll on, roll off subs. You know, you can come off and come back on. So I got took off by the manager. You know, I, I was almost in that first 15 minutes. I didn't even want the ball. I was so afraid. It was so ridiculous. I was almost afraid of messing up. I created this narrative in my head. If I got the ball, I'd do something stupid. And then I sort of went back on. And then out of nowhere, I got the ball. And I beat two players. I took it around two players and put a good ball into the box. And then literally, just from that one thing, just because I've gone round two players, this, you know, you might have heard about it. There's confidence players and the definition of a confidence player, you know. If I have a game and in the first five minutes say I score, I'll probably end up having a good game because I'll be full of confidence. If I have in the first five minutes miss an open net, I'll probably have a stinker because every time I get the ball, I'll be in my own head thinking, oh, you're going to miss, you know, oh, you've already embarrassed yourself, almost not wanting the ball. So, then after I beat them two men, oh, the next 20 minutes of the game, I won a penalty. I got an assist, so uh, I beat two players, put the ball in, boom, we scored. Then I went through one-on-one, -on -one, beat a man, won a penalty. We were absolutely battering this team, we did really well, we were like 3 up at this point, or 3-1. And then, um, then out of nowhere the ball gets whipped in, and uh, I sort of missed quite an easy chance. And this is about, so I've had a good 20 minute spell here. Then after that, the ball's gone behind me. I've sort of missed. It's not a sitter, but you know, probably could have scored it on another day. And then bang, look at my head dropped again. So I've come from 15 minutes of no confidence to suddenly having all the confidence in the world. So then missing this chance and it drops again. And then I created this narrative. Sorry for itching me. I've just been itching my legs right the way through this video, I've realised. Uh, I'll create this narrative that I just can't score because the rest of the game I'm, I've got over the barrier of not playing well every time I'm getting the ball I'm making stuff happen I'm beating defenders but there's this narrative in my head this barrier that I've created for myself that I can't score I'm missing chance after chance after chance you know chances I normally score someone cuts it back to me on the penalty spot I'm normally quite composed in front of the goal whack it over the crossbar but then 
I go off again, I get subbed off a second time, it's roll on, roll off subs. I come back, I wasn't meant to go back on. I think I got took off like the last 15 and someone got injured with five minutes to go. I wasn't meant to go back on. And Gaffer went, oh, you're back on, he's injured. And then again, I sort of went on with a bit of confidence again because I wasn't meant to play this like, last five minutes. It's like a, we were 9 3 up. We were nine, no, 8 3 up, so it was like no pressure at all, you know. 8 4, sorry, we were 8 4 up. No pressure at all. The game's won, you know, I've done all right. And then bang, I beat two players, whack it top bins from outside the box. So it literally, I think that represents anxiety. We, we build stuff up. We create little scenarios in our head, like, you know, it's like we go into something, like, the pit, with a picture already painted. That's what we go into stuff. Something's either going to go well, or something's going to go bad. We have very black and white thinking. I sort of know it's with anxiety, and I, I carry it in every situation. Maybe I struggle with social anxiety, so I get invited to a social situation. In my head, I've already decided if it's going to go well or not. That's my mentality. And it's an absolute lie, you know. You go, I'm going into stuff thinking I'm gonna, it's gonna go well, or it's gonna go bad. And you need to have more of an open mind, you know. I went into that football game thinking I'm gonna get battered, then started playing well. Then I had a mentality that no matter what, I'm not gonna score. Then I score a goal, and then after it, everyone was going into weather weather spoons and having social anxiety, you know, an environment where you. You sat, sat down, you know, I'm not comfortable with all the team, I know a few of them, so, well not all the team went, but I got asked long basically I got a lift off this lad to football, so I had to sort of go, he was going, so I had to, I had to tag along, I couldn't be like, yeah, just take me home, you know, I had to go, I was a bit nervous for it, then I had about three pints and I never, sh never show up, I was the loudest one there, cracking jokes and that, everyone saying I'm the funniest drunk they've ever seen, buying me drinks left, right and centre because I'm a hilarious when I've had a drink. But then after it, you know, despite having a positive night, I can still, in my head, just thinking of like, oh, surely I've embarrassed myself, you know. Maybe I, shouldn't, I was too loud. I'd have come away again. Negative. I've got a very negative mindset, you know. I play well in a football game. I come away just thinking about all my missed chances despite scoring a goal, winning a penalty and getting an assist. I go to the pub where I'm having social anxiety, worrying that I'm just going to be nervous, not be able to say, throw two words together. Despite this, I'm claiming to be the loudest one. Everyone's laughing their head off clearly. You know, I'm being quite funny. And again, just my mind's trying to put a downer on it and think, Oh, you must, you've embarrassed yourself from being loud. I can't win. I could have even been quiet and not said two words. And then come home, oh my gosh, you were terrible there. You know, you're in a social situation, can't say two words. And then I turn out and, and can't shut up. I'm socialising with everyone. And I still come away with a negative mindset. So I think my evening sums up anxiety to a T. You know, black and white thinking, either something's going to be good or bad. Maybe going better, stuff going better than expected, you know, as I said. I went into the evening uh, terrified to go to the pub. Turned out to be the loudest one there. Going to a football game, expected to be terribly. Played pretty well. And even after all that going well, the mind's still trying to put a negative on it. So your mind will lie to you. It will happen. I, you know, with anxiety. I can't believe I'm just waffling all this off the top of my head. DL. Get me on the radio, please. I don't know who watching this. You get me on a radio station. It's an Cami FM. I'm only joking, but you know, yeah. I just thought I'd tell this story. It's a little, little story time. A uh, little ten minute video. I sometimes like waffling a bit. I think it's good to, it's good to talk. Uh, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, let us know. If you hated it. Let me know if you, if you actually are watching at this stage and you've watched the full video. Comment, Cameron, you're a sexy bugger. And then I know, then I know, tell her. So, um, I was going to do 20 minutes, but after 10 minutes of pure waffle, my mind is like gone blank. So, all the best, look after yourselves in the heat. I'll try and be more consistent. I'm sorry that I've been a bit off here and there, but... Uh, 
it comes with YouTube and you know like it's very difficult to remain consistent but consistency is key so all the best.